Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. New videos every Saturday, so if you don't want to miss out on your Tex Scrabner Outdoors, Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, make sure to click subscribe, check that notification box, and check my channel every Saturday for new videos. I love reading your comments, and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. Regardless whether I make a dime, I'm still going to keep making videos because it's what I love to do. I grew up dreaming of having my own outdoor show. Guess what? It's my empire of mud. Welcome to your Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday Morning Cartoon Awesomeness. Why do I call it my Saturday Morning Cartoon Awesomeness? Guess what? You might have noticed I'm a little bit animated. Anyways, I do read your comments, and some of you had been asking me about how I set up my compound bows, because while I am a traditional bow hunter, I do have a couple of compound bows in my collection. This one is a Martin Xenon. It's a solo cam style bow. And it's set up in a very simple way. But there's a couple of key features as part of this bow that lend itself to actually shooting with fingers successfully. Now right now I'm on my 20 yard spot. And so this isn't terribly impressive, but this bow is a 34 axle to axle. You don't want to get much below 34 axle to axle length because you get too much finger pinch and you torque the bow too much as you draw. So if you're going to be using a short axle to axle bow and shooting with fingers, you're gonna need to use a full capture arrow rest. In my case, because this bow also, as I say, has a six inch brace height right there, that means that the string angle is going to be more obtuse than acute. Remember your sixth grade geometry? Anyways, that allows me to actually use an NAP flipper rest rather than needing a full capture rest. But as you saw, when I shoot, I'm twisting the string and I'm relaxing my front hand a little bit and that allows the bow to cant over so that the string is in line with the limbs when I'm on my anchor point. Now one thing that you're going to want to take into consideration when setting your draw length for shooting with fingers is that you're going to want to set it about a half inch shorter than what you think that it should be. That way you can settle in right on that anchor point at your back wall. Now this is not the absolute greatest group that I have ever shot at 20 yards but I prefer to do things under organic conditions my Reinhardt broadhead buck so I've got one a little bit low in the lungs one over there in the heart and I've got one a little bit high in the lungs but Ask me about my sights. Now sadly, for whatever reason, Martin Archery has kind of fallen out of vogue lately. But, they were basically the first bow company that I ever shot a bow from when I bought my first bow. And so, I guess I'm brand loyal. The thing about archery, and I'm going to make a video dedicated to this in general, you cannot buy performance. Performance only comes from persistence. You cannot force the flowers into bloom.
So, it's getting a little dark, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching so far. Keep in mind, this is only 20 yards, not remotely impressive, but no sights, no problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, God bless all my sports of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at SOETacticalGear.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Texas Grabner Outdoors.